One of the reasons I absolutely love make.com is the community part. And I had one problem, one issue, and this guy, he spent two hours sorting this out for me and he was kind enough to record the video with a proper tutorial so shout out to Julius uh, Forster I'm going to link his um, video to the description of this video so you can follow this guy I think he deserves it so here is the problem and here is a few ways how you can sort it out basically just a few hours ago I posted on make.com um, this issue I had so what I was trying to achieve was I wanted to send few images for vision to analyze but the problem is with every run I don't know how many images I'm going to uh, send off to vision like a rigid mapping is not an option because if you map five images and then the next time you send only three images the automation will stop and will say hello where are the the last two images okay so the way around it um, is actually using this mapping option uh, in make.com however even though I've used the proper structure um, don't worry about this little guy here this little <laughs> curly bracket I've actually put a properly structured um, array um, as they requested but that didn't work so it turns out that um, you need to put um, an array that is a value not a text so even if it looks the same it has to be value so one of the guys suggested that I change I set multiple variables and then put that into the array aggregator so that way I'm passing on the values and the array in a form of a value but that didn't work either so this guy um, Julian he was kind enough and he recorded this um, you know 18 minutes long video where he's using the API um, so he's calling um, making a call to API and he's got this very very um, you know a proper way of of uh, you know sorting this out and he goes step by step um, so one of the problems with uh, vision is that it when you're passing on the image and its url it has to be the final file has to be in the url so it should be some kind of the url address that's something that's something that jpeg so your file needs to be that jpeg in the end so the google share links or dropbox share links are not an option that didn't work for me that was one of the problems so julian suggests you convert that to image format and he's right and he's then uh, parising it into the json and then he sends that json with the uh, text aggregator and he's making this uh, big api call and that works so thank you very much julian for doing this I didn't realize he spent those two hours and he replied to me in the make.com in the meantime I was able to find my own solution in a different way someone else pointed out that I should try to be um, mapping the values and passing those the array as in value to the uh, to the vision module so I've tried that but in the meantime I found a little little thing in the array um, aggregator settings that I never seen before i never saw before i never paid attention to it before so here is what i found and here is the final solution one of the problems was the google link wasn't working so instead of trying to provide vision with urls uh, you've got the other options you can provide data so i decided to download all the videos with the http get file module and as you can see i'm downloading 34 images and that's all uh, being grabbed by the array aggregator now here is the final part if you go let's say i'm putting the other um, i'm creating the new module and it's aggregator when you first aggregator here so what you can actually do is select the target structure type and you basically you just select the vision and it goes like okay what do you want to use urls or image files and that's it <laughs> so you basically um i went for the urls didn't work because it's not the right type of the url so you go for image file and you just select http okay and you just select your source 
okay? So I did that for this module. It sends off this array, okay? Um, you then go to vision and you place this array here. You just map it over here. And if you look carefully on the uh, inbound for this, so actually let's run it as well to show you that it works. So I'm sending um, just from the basic trigger. I'm actually using this scenario to uh, create a real estate video with the help of Hagen. Um, those background images that I'm sending off to Vision are actually the images from the property listings and they are being put together into a form of like a video slideshow and the avatar is talking about this property and at the moment of where the avatar talks about certain part of the property the correct images are being displayed and that's why i'm actually sending them off to vision so the um, correct slides are recognized and being placed in the timeline at the right moment so we can see that this is finished scanning i've only sent a um, few images this time and yeah it works so i've sent nine images and the result is all the images are recognized so the bathroom entryway kitchen and so forth and now here is how i actually um, um if you go to the input this is what we get from the array aggregator so this is how the how uh, you should be mapping it okay so when i first um posted on the make.com community i was uh, sending basically that in those array brackets of course but it was properly structured but it still didn't work and I think it's because it didn't have those at the top, like, but basically if you do what I've just said with the array, if you select just a proper uh, target structure type, it will, or it will basically put it in the right format. And then you just map that array into the vision like that, and it will work. So that's it. Thank you very much um, again, everyone for um, helping. Thank you very much, Julius. Cheers.